welcome to my channel today i will demonstrate you concept of motion sensor means whenever user slight motion the device or shuffle the device or you can say whenever user the shake the device i want to change the background color of my text view so let's start developing android studio project first of all you can click on start new android studio project then you can choose the empty activity then here you can provide the name of your application. I'm just giving the name of my application is sensor shuffle example or you can say sensor shuffle demo. Then you can choose the language that you, whatever you want to choose. I'm right now just choosing the language that is Kotlin. Then you can just uh, move to your project Android Studio project. Let me uh, define first what I want to do. So I am just uh, moving to my design first. First of all, you can click over here on show layout decorations. Then you can uh, remove this hello world if it is required. Uh, here I am just moving to my design first. Here now I am adding the ID to this uh, hello world and that ID is a text view. Now I am just giving the text size that is for example 30 SP. Then I'm just changing the text over here. That is Atmiya University. Now, just to set the text style, I'm just giving the text style that is bold. Then uh, you can just move this uh, text view over here. Now, whenever user shake my phone, I want to change the background color of this text view, right? So let's uh, having the coding inside the main activity now this is my text view and i want to change the color so first of all whenever you want to change the color uh, you need a sensor manager first of all to manage the sensor right so i'm just uh, taking get system service here you can get the sensor service and you can cast it as sensor manager so what happened your variable will be declared as a sensor manager now we need a sensor what kind of sensor we need right so my sensor is sensor manager dot get default sensor and here you can just write sensor dot type accelerometer accelerometer is the type which returns you x y and z three dimensional axis values so for that you need to register your sensor also and you need a sensor event listener so first of all i am just taking the sensor event listener colon object colon here you can just call sensor event listener anonymously now you need to override the two methods over here one is on accuracy change and another is the on sensor change whenever the sensor is a change i want to change the background color right so for that you need to identify the values that is your x y and z values so i'm just uh, removing this p0 variable and i'm declaring it as a event now you need a values variable so i'm just taking the values is equal to event dot values now you need a x y and z values so i'm just declaring variable x is equal to values of zero values of zero will give you x axis value here you can simply remove the question mark so your value 0 will be available to your x now you can retrieve the value of y using the values of 1 it will retrieve the y axis value that is vertical value x that is horizontal value then you can get the cross value that is variable z is equal to values of 2 once you get the variable x y and z now we need to identify the acceleration square root and whenever you want to get the acceleration square root you can simply write the formula that is x square plus y square plus z square divided by gravity on earth square of gravity on earth so simply we can write here variable acceleration square root is equal to x into x that is x square plus y into y that is y square plus z into z that is z square now you can divide gravity on earth that is the square of the gravity on earth then you can simply write here 9.80 that is the value of the gravity on earth right so you can simply write 9.80 multiply by 9.80 that is the square of this 
once you get the acceleration square root now how, how you can identify that your phone is a supple or you can say that the, your phone is a sake so uh, you there is a one value suppose if the phone is a supple then your accelerator square root value will be greater than 2 so if a value is greater than or equal to 2 it means my phone is in motion mode slight motion or you can say slight uh, changing of my phone horizontally or vertically might be a chance my phone is motion if the square root value is greater than or equal to 2 now what i want to do i want to just change the uh, color of background color of my text view so here i'm just taking one variable is color is uh, is a background color that is you can say is background color is equal to false now you can set the text view dot set background color i'm just setting the background color is color dot cyan now if the acceleration square root is greater than or equal to 2 then i'm just checking if is color it means if is background color is true right now it is false right so if it is true then i will change the color of background that is a text view background color right so i'm just taking here text view dot set background color and that i want to set the color dot for example yellow so if it is false then i want to set the cyan if it is true then i want to set the yellow so definitely i will write the else close over here else i want to set the text view dot set background color that is color dot cyan right now whenever the acceleration square root value is greater than or equal to 2 i need to change the color also i need to set the value also so i'm just changing the value of my is back color so you see simply you can write here is back color is equal to not is back color so what happened if it is a false then it, it will uh, create the true if it is true then it will convert into false once it is done now you need to register your sensor to your and sensor event listener to your sensor manager so simply here you can write sm dot register listener which listener you want to register that is sensor event listener which sensor you want to register my sensor and for how much delay you want to register right so here you need to mention the sensor manager dot you need to mention the sensor uh, delay i'm just mentioning the sensor delay normal now simply you can execute your application once your application is executed let me explain my program again whenever the sensor is a change it means whenever the user change their uh, mobile slightly motion their mobile or any device uh, then whenever the shaking is happen whenever the shuffle is happen i want to change the background color of the text view let me show you how to do this see the background color is right now cyan right now how can i uh, say that uh, how to perform the sensor see whenever you are executing this application in your actual phone you don't need to do anything you just need to slight uh, shake your phone slight you need to shuffle your phone like this right but uh, how can i uh, do the same thing over here using the using that you need to perform the virtual sensor in emulator so i am just moving to my virtual sensor this is my actual phone uh, this is emulator this is my virtual sensor i'm just moving the x axis just to see over here see whenever i change my phone see the color is change right that is yellow here you can say if you change the phone uh, slightly rotate and move see slightly fast color will be yellow slightly fast the color will be Shan, right so this is the way you can implement your application you can implement the type accelerometer in your application and you can simply identify that your device is motion over here not only this i'm just changing the color suppose if you want to detect that how many times i 
beat the motion of my phone then simply you can retrieve this value and you can store into database with the time so you can identify that the in one day you are shaking your phone or shuffle your phone minimum five times or six times this is the way you can calculate the accelerometer value this is nothing this is just a acceleration square root and if the acceleration square root is greater than two then i'm just changing the color if it is uh cyan then i'm changing the yellow and if it is a yellow then i'm just changing the cyan so this is the way you can implement uh, accelerometer in your application that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you all